Okay, so I had a comment about uh, possible reason for oil pump failure in a slant six. And I thought I'd kind of walk you through some of the things I found on it and why that massive amount of silicone on the gasket really wouldn't have done anything with this particular type of design. So these oil pumps are actually running uh, what is called a screw gear setup. This is just like your distributors on most American engines. These are designed to be take power off at a 90 degrees like this here. So in fact, in your slant six, your distributor is sitting up this way. So, but the argument was the silicone would have pushed out the um, oil pump just enough to make the gears not engage right and have them bind up. So this one here is actually off the uh, 75 engine and you can kind of see that polished area that is all the contact area this actually ends up getting so and besides i i measured the gasket so the 75 i imagine had an original gasket and the 72 engine had a gasket with silicone and it measured about two thousandths of an inch um, thicker so if you're thinking two thousandths of an inch difference here will destroy this gear, yeah, no, that's that's not how that works. So I actually have chalked up in the lathe the 72's cam, which you can see a big old chunk out of the teeth, and that sheared um, gear. So this is the 72's actually running. And what's interesting here, because we're in a lathe, we can run it out. Now, if you got this far out, you probably would have a problem. Notice how it's riding right on the edge of that. And it kind of changed pitch. We run in. Sounds good. But we are cranking a long ways with no difference. So it sounds like a good idea at first that the silicone could have done that but uh, there's a reason Chrysler chose this type of gear in a lot of things because someone could build this without the gasket um, with gasket they could double up the gasket if it's warped I don't know why you would someone could you're not going to take out the gear based on that so one thing that was interesting that I found when I uh, want to kind of show this was turning is the impeller for the 72 has a whole bunch of nicks in it, which is really hard to see here. So now I'm playing a chicken and an egg. Did something get into here? Cause the pump to kind of seize up, be too tight, and uh, share its drive gear. So did the rods go first or the pump? So anyway, I'll work on that, let you guys know. Uh, in other news with this, so the 72 was running a high volume pump with a high pressure spring, which is part of the problem. So one thing I didn't mention is a screw gear like this cannot handle high loads. You're going to run high loads, you should be running a spur gear, um, herringbone, something other than this here. And once you start running, so this is like a stock slant six pump for most years, probably up to 80. This is from uh, 80 or 81, once they want hydraulic cam and up. And then this is what's sold as a high volume pump. So there'd be a big difference in load between these two here. And that's also a possibility of what took out this pump gear. So anyway, uh, I'll keep working on what my issues are here and let you guys know. I was going to play with something. This is where I was playing with what it took for clearance for this to actually quit spinning and it's pretty amazing. Um, technically in the car this was still gripping and driving it if I throw it back in the block.
And that's where I think I'm missing whatever was stuck in here and had that seized up. So anyway, I'll keep looking for whatever that item was and go from there. And thanks for watching.